Today on the channel, we head back to 1987, and there was a whole lot more going on than the Detroit Tigers with Alan Trammell, Kurt Gibson, and the rest of the gang. There was RoboCop. He was in the theaters. And today, we're taking a look at NECA's RoboCop. The Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another NECA unboxing and review and today we've got something special we got some 80s goodness in RoboCop but remember for all your NECA needs and a whole lot more to be hitting up Entertainment Earth use the link in the description below or discount code Kyle to save yourself 10% on all in stock merchandise gotta get a deal all day long and RoboCop is finally here when this was announced let's call it six months ago I was all in, as I've never really picked up a RoboCop figure outside of a figure way back in the day. I think it was even the cartoon figure from RoboCop. Am I dreaming that? I don't know. But RoboCop, a sorely missed spot in my collection. I'm not going to say I'm the greatest RoboCop fan in the world, but I will bring it back to when I was eight years old, probably seeing RoboCop on TV for the first time, maybe nine years old, I'm not sure. Uh, but boy, it changed my life. Oh, it changed my life forever. I always wanted to be a cybernetic cop, and that was really a role model I could look up to. But uh, maybe not, but I remember it being so violent and so awesome. Of course, you're a little kid in the 80s. You love the Arnolds. You love the Sylvester Stallones of the world. You love movies like RoboCop. And RoboCop 1 holds up to this day. RoboCop 2 and beyond got a little too kid-friendly, I think. But as a little kid, RoboCop 1 was a game changer. An absolute awesome movie. Absolutely love it to this day. Uh, so very happy to get a RoboCop here. But there was more reasons than uh, just like in RoboCop that I needed this one. I was also a wrestling fan. Yeah, who knew? Uh, but back in uh, 1990, let's call it. Let's call it 1990. Wasn't it Capital Combat, I believe it was? Uh, RoboCop helping out his old buddy Sting. Never forget that. Oh, what a team. I was hoping they would go on to win the tag team titles. That wasn't quite in the cards. But we know Arn Anderson got quite the... Uh, punch from old RoboCop at Capital City Combat, but that's what I think I'm going to do. I might display this RoboCop with my Sting figure on my WCW shelf, so of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to see where it goes from there, and we got to do some height comparisons with some old school Stinger figures to see where he's exactly going to go in the collection. So without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging on old RoboCop here. This is hitting Target stores as we speak. Uh, the Holothon, Fall Fest, whatever we call it at Target this fall, uh, should be on an end cap somewhere in the toy area. So be on the lookout for old RoboCop. A very iconic movie image, movie poster right here. This is RoboCop all day long. And I think a lot of times when I think RoboCop, I think of this scene right here. Uh, very, very cool RoboCop font as well. What's it say there? Part man, part machine, all cop. Uh, all day long. Ultimate RoboCop. Detroit police. Love it. Just absolutely love it. You know, RoboCop, he had a tough go. He had a tough go. A real tough go. He got blown to bits, and they brought him back together as part robot. Of course, he's fighting with himself and his memories and stuff. And uh, craziness happens along the way in the movie, if you've never seen it. But man, absolutely cool. RoboCop on the side. And then you get the Unmasked Edition on this side, so that is kind of cool. No way I'm using that head, though. That head's never going to see the light of day outside of this review. Uh, and on the back... RoboCop. There it is. I don't know if it says too much here. Part man, part machine, all cop. The future of law enforcement features spring-loaded holster. Well, that's good for me. And then, of course, you got the NECA box that we're used to. It opens up just like so. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to take him offline, getting him out of the package. We'll be back talking all things RoboCop. All right, we got RoboCop out of the package. Really not that hard. Only one twist tie around his waist. I was expecting a little bit more for that. And this doesn't feel quite like some of the other NECA figures. Uh, thinking of Ninja Turtles, some of those that have tons and tons of accessories, tons of deluxe stuff going on. It's kind of one of those middle-of-the-road NECA ones, but sometimes less is more. And that's kind of the case right here, I think. But let's start it off. Let's take a look at these accessories first. Uh, we do get the big old blaster long sniper rifle. I don't know what we're going to call this thing. Now, I do not remember this part of the movie. It's been a while. It's been a few years since I've seen RoboCop, but I'm sure he used this weapon in the movie. I just do not remember it. It does have a little holster sling right there so you can use it. Gotta say, though, I won't be using this with my RoboCop. It's all about the other gun, and we'll get to that here in a second, but it's got the long, long, long barrel on it as well and all that. It's very futuristic. Of course, a futuristic sniper rifle. Uh, it does move up here. You do got the stand that does move, so you can uh, articulate that out of the way. Or it can pop off too, as we see right here. But it looks like it'll pop right back in. 
all one color on this gun as well. Uh, no extra sculpt, no extra detail. Uh, but yeah, this does pop out the little stand there for me at least. Uh, but it's okay. It is what it is. It's a throw in, I guess. Some of these other accessories we have right here where you get one extra hand. So uh, no fists on RoboCop. But you know, RoboCop, he only used his fist against Arn Anderson. I think that was the only time he really used it. Uh, but we do get a fisted hand. However, it is blocked. The fist is blocked by this nice spike right here. So he could have really made Arn Anderson have a really bad day. If RoboCop went full on RoboCop against Arn Anderson. Uh, so we do have that. Looks very interesting, but very cool. Very nice spike right there. Go right up through somebody's head. Uh, very, very cool. I don't think, once again, I will be using that accessory. i got to use the gun. And when I speak of the gun, we talk about this patented one. No idea what kind of gun this is, but it is a handgun. It is, of course, uh, RoboCop all day long. Uh, RoboCop video game for, I think it was Nintendo back in the day. I loved that game as well. You know, he pull his gun and bow, bow, bow. Great. That's part of RoboCop. This is what I think of when I think of RoboCop using weapons. This is the weapon I think of. All black on this one, which I believe is how it was in the movie. Beautiful sculpt here. Uh, just all day long, this is RoboCop's gun. And then we do get a weird one. I wasn't sure what this was at first. I'm like, what the heck is this? But this is an attachment to the end of the gun. Uh, a little smoke effect action. And you slide it, pop it on like that. So it gives a little extra detail. You can do a little bit more with this if you need to, but uh, cool enough. Cool enough. Once again, I don't think I'll use this effect piece. I think I like the looks of the gun just by itself, uh, but we'll go from there. So now we jump over to RoboCop. Let's see what all the fuss is about with this action figure here. We do get an extra head with RoboCop, so I guess we'll start with the heads here. Uh, once again, I keep saying I know what I know. I like what I like with this RoboCop figure. And all day long, I'm going with this head on RoboCop. It's got to be the RoboCop head. I guess it's cool. We get the Murphy head. I guess we'll call it the Murphy head. Uh, we get that. It's awesome. It's cool. But everything, if you're displaying this, you're using this RoboCop head. Unless you're a massive, massive RoboCop fan, like that's your collection. I don't see you using this head. Uh, maybe you buy two RoboCops and you use this. That's a possibility. Uh, but this one isn't very good. Well, I, w I shouldn't say it's not very good. It's just not as good as this one. This is what you want all day long. This is the money. But it's got his kind of cybernetic head, his face going uh, very, very plain Jane. Was it P Paul Weller? Peter Weller. Peter Weller? I believe that's who played RoboCop. Uh, he's got kind of a pouty lips going on. His eyes are a little close together. Does got a little damage here and there on his head. Uh, but I guess it's a cool enough throw in. Uh, but for me, once again, I'm just using this head. So now we get down to old RoboCop here. Uh, old RoboCop. Uh, Serving Detroit City, as we know. Big, big figure. And there is two versions of this figure. There is a deluxe version with kind of the uh, table that brought him back to life and all that kind of extra accessories. I figured I didn't need that. I, I like RoboCop, but it's just not a collection I'm going down of every RoboCop figure. I just needed one. This is the one I need. I think the majority of the people there are kind of the same boat. They're just going to get this version of RoboCop. But man, you look at this from afar, it's RoboCop all day. You're not going to confuse this for anybody else. You got that patented visor on the head, the steel helmet. Once again, the pouty lips that were always there. Uh, and that skin tone that RoboCop had around his mouth. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, if you know it, you know it. It's just that skin tone that was always there for RoboCop. Uh, and it does look good with the black around it as well. All day long, somebody hands you this head. Yeah, that's RoboCop. We all know that. Of course, you get down to kind of the bluish, steelish color throughout the suit, the RoboCop suit in the legs, the arms across with the black accents throughout, looking really good. I mean, once again, it looks like RoboCop all day long. Now, of course, articulation-wise, head removable, head side to side, back and forth, up and down, pretty good movements for RoboCop. Now, we got to remember, this is RoboCop, not Spider-Man. So I, by looking at this, you can tell there's not super articulation with this one, and that makes sense to me. Uh, but you do get the arms all the way around. You do get a little side to side, but it is limited by the big shoulders here. That makes sense. And then you do get single-jointed elbows, uh, not a ton of movement there. Once again, this is a robot, a human robot, but a robot nonetheless. Hands, uh, your hands are not movable. They are side to side at the uh, forearm. So that's a little different. Usually we're used to the twist at the hands, hands removability. No, it is on the forearm here. And then the hand just pops off very easily. So you can have really battle damage robot if you want to miss a hand. Oh boy, that's not going to fit in there. I'm going to have to heat that up. There's no way. Holy cow. So this the hand is supposed to go in there, the spiked hand. Uh, it just looks way too big, at least off the bat. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's not going to happen. That is not going on without some heat. Your mileage may vary. You know how that goes with some of these NECA things. Uh, but I'm going to have to heat this up for sure if I ever want to put this on his hand. Uh, so that's, it is what it is, I guess. We expect that with NECA sometimes, but really should be able to plug and play like all the other toys out there, if you ask me. 
Uh, got some decent, uh, I don't know if I'd even say decent, but you got a little bit of hula hoop there at the waist. You do got no waist articulation with this. You do get legs that go up, kind of splay out there, so he could do his high kicks, which Robocop never did, so you don't really need that. Uh, but very mechanical, once again, as a robot, mechanical articulation there. Knees, oh, we got some ratchets in the knees. Decent, single jointed, not getting a ton of movement there as expected. And then you do get ankle articulation up and down. Very cool, they got the little plastic uh, pistons here, I guess, on the back of his feet. Uh, those pistons go up and down when you move the hand or move the foot. So that is something a little different there. But man, it is Robocop all day long. Uh, I guess my biggest gripe is going to be this hand. Uh, trying to move that out of the way. That's a little frustrating. That could get pretty old pretty fast. Does he hold his iconic blaster? Oh yeah, now it's Robocop all day long. He's got that going on. That looks so good. So good. Let's see, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? That's always a good judge of character. Man, he fits like a glove. It's like he was made by Mattel. He's got the stand there perfectly fitting right there. Ringside collectibles. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Fits beautifully on this stand. So I'm there for that all day long. But now the true test begins. Oh, Robocop, your biggest test yet. Stands perfectly without a stand, by the way, as well. But now we got to see right here. We got to see what's going on. The old Stinger. Let's grab him out here. And I'm getting two versions of Sting. I did grab the Jax Legends of the Ring Edition Sting. I just figured uh, Robocop, we know these NECAs, usually they scale a little bit tall. But actually, this Robocop feels a little bit smaller than your average NECA figure. And what is that? I don't know. It just feels a little smaller in hand. So this Legends of the Ring Sting, too big. It's too big. And I thought for sure this would be the one that would probably work best with him. But I'm happy to report it looks like... Mattel is going to be the one that scales perfectly with this Robocop. That should make a lot of people happy because we got different stings over the years from Mattel. Now, if we go back to Capital Combat, wasn't Sting wearing like pink pants or something and a tank top or no shirt or something? So there's not really a sting that matches up 100%, but you do need blonde hair sting. You do need surfer sting. And I think you're near enough to be dangerous, I really, at the end of the day. And that's what I'm going to go with. And I think this orange one kind of feels that era the best to me. So I think I'm going to display these two guys together. They're ready to take on the horsemen. They're ready for uh, all the shenanigans the horsemen bring. Uh, but very cool. This scales perfectly. I believe Robocop is just a hair taller than Sting. Either way, it is very close. It does look very good. So this is how it's going to be on my shelf. Not sure about you guys out there in old YouTube land. You getting a RoboCop just for your RoboCop adventures? Or are you getting a RoboCop like me so you can put him with Sting? Obviously, I love RoboCop. Kid of the 80s. Love me some RoboCop. But I also love wrestling. So putting these two together was really cool. Looking back all these years later, if you watch Capital Combat 1990 for whatever reason, you're like, holy cow, this is brutal. But to a nine-year-old kid... All day long, all day long, we're eating that stuff up with a fork and a spoon. You guys know how we do. Uh, but looking good. Sting, Robocop, this works for me. Is it the best NECA figure of all time? Uh, it's debatable. Uh, it does have a few issues here, but I think for what it needs to do and at the price point it is, this is an easy pickup. I think this is one you should really grab out there. But you guys tell me in the YouTube comments, what are your thoughts on RoboCop? What are your thoughts on Capital Combat 1990? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. You made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. As you guys know, we got videos every single day and then some. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. Hit the notification bell. And then don't forget about checking out the Patreon channel. Patreon, where you get videos like this much earlier than traditional YouTube. Bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaways. Best of all, you support the channel, of course. And don't forget to follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for RoboCop and Sting, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another NECA Ninja Turtle unboxing and review. Maybe not, maybe not.